The Imperial Escort Carrier is a Corvette class with a role as Destroyer. They are purchasable by the Empire starting at Tech Level 2 for 3,000 credits on planets with an advanced fighter dockyard. When deployed to the battlefield, the Imperial Escort Carrier has the following loadout taken word from word from the descriptions of Awakening of the Rebellion. They have fast charging balanced shields with a strength of 650. Balanced shields don't reduce or increase the damage taken from any weapon type and can deal with most attacking units rather well. They have a hull strength of 600 with light armor. Light armor reduces the damage taken from all laser cannons, but takes additional damage from medium and heavy turbo lasers. They have a speed of 375 with a high acceleration and turn. Their sensor range is 2500 with a max weapon range of 2000 and an ideal weapon range of 1500. Their weapon systems include two medium close range turbo lasers and four heavy laser cannons. Medium close range turbo lasers are most effective and accurate at close ranges against cruisers and capital ships. Heavy laser cannons excel at taking out small ships like corvettes and frigates. Imperial escort carriers have a hangar bay that holds one TIE hunter flight with one in reserve. IECs also have the power to engines ability, which while activated, speed is increased at the cost of reduced firepower and shield strength. With all that being said, Imperial escort carriers are the more hard-hitting corvettes for the Empire. Their weapon systems are built for the anti-frigate role, and they have the speed to avoid larger ships as they hunt down the backline quasars and eddy cruisers. They also carry the Imperial version of X-Wings and TIE Hunters, which can screen the IECs from fighters, then use their proton torpedoes to increase damage output on bigger ships. I believe these ships to be best used against space stations, as they provide many small ships for the Rebels and the Black Sun that are harder to kill. These small ships are perfect for the Imperial Escort carrier's weapons. They also are cheap and only take up 7 tactical population space, with the biggest drawback probably being the Tech 2 requirement. 